Christmas songs can be really fun to do ragtime guitar arrangements of. Dozens of them, hundreds of them make great things. And maybe that's just because I listened to too much John Fahey when I was younger, and maybe still listen to too much now. But uh, Fahey's way of putting, of turning things into ragtime stuff from grandfather's clock to all kinds of things, uh, huge influence on me. And um, as I started playing more stuff, it became easier to just put chords together and, and find melody notes. Well, I have a lesson together now on this at Totally Guitars as, as part of the Target program where we take a pretty detailed look at that arrangement of Let It Snow done in a ragtime style, meaning keeping a steady alternating bass going, done in swing time, meaning that the ands are a little bit late, one and two and three and four. So it definitely has a bouncy, lively, holiday feel. Um, these are some unusual chords. I was playing an F-sharp diminished there after the C chord. It could be looked sort of C diminished as well, but since we put F sharp in the bass, and that's about the only unusual chord in the song. We play two diminished chords in here. They're both the same, but they're in different places. So it's good to get, get the hang of playing a couple different shapes of diminished chords. What I'm doing for this one, the F sharp diminished, is I've got my first finger barring three strings at the first fret, but the second, third, and fourth strings, not the first string. It's not part of this chord. And then an F sharp in the bass, second fret of the sixth string, and an A on the third string at the second fret. So in one of about three or four really common ways of playing diminished chords, the, the way it happens in this song, we have to add a D on at the third fret as well, and that goes into a G chord, into an A chord, and all this other stuff. So, but in the lesson we break down diminished chords, how to, the other ways of playing them, because there's another one played at the fourth and fifth fret a little bit later in the same, same phrase. And that's one where we've got the fourth string and the second string at the fourth fret, my first and second fingers, and then my third and fourth fingers on the fifth fret of the other two strings, the third and the first. So, really cool sounds that we get out of diminished chords. Anyway, this lesson is up. Uh, it's, uh, you know, a solid intermediate finger picking lesson. It's not, not really a beginning finger picking lesson. So if you have some experience with finger picking and keeping your thumb going back and forth and stuff and you'd like to check it out, it's available at Totally Guitars. If you're not quite familiar with some of that stuff yet, we have a lot of free lessons that have that teach how to do that and a whole course on finger picking techniques and, and uh, uh, just stuff you need to do to get better at doing that. So you can check that out as well. Um, most of all the free lessons are here at our TG free lessons channel at YouTube as well. But uh, Let It Snow by Sammy Kahn and Julie Stein is up now in the Target program at Totally Guitars.